All of the exhibits pertaining to items on the agenda are posted on the bulletin board. Please feel free to view the exhibits at any time during tonight's meeting. You are required to fill out a blue form to speak before the Community Redevelopment Agency. The blue forms are located next to the Assistant City Clerk, Ms. Allison Brown. You must complete the sections that ask for your name, address, topic of concern, agenda item number, signature, and date. The form must be completed and placed in the designated box. You will not be allowed to speak if your form is not placed in the designated box. Resolutions that are administrative items number six are open for public comment, and you may fill out a blue form to speak when that item is called. All citizens completing a blue form will be allowed to speak for two and a half minutes. When you approach the lectern, please speak clearly into the microphone and give your full name and address. The two and a half minute clock on the monitor above and directly in front of you will start running when you begin to speak. Pay close attention to your time. You will be told when your time has expired. Disorderly conduct in the public meeting of the City Commission. Article 2, Section 6238 of the City Code of Ordinances reads as follows. It shall be unlawful for any person to behave in a riotous or disorderly manner in any public meeting of the City Commission or any committee, agency, or board thereof, or to cause any unnecessary disturbances therein by force, shouting, or any other action calculated to disrupt such meeting, or to refuse to obey any ruling of the presiding officer or such meeting relative to the orderly process thereof. All conversation must take place either at the lectern or on the dais so that everyone can hear the business being discussed tonight. Ms. LaMagna, may we have a roll call? Commissioner Delgado? Right. Commissioner White? Here. Commissioner Gilliland? Here. Commissioner Henry? Here. Commissioner Reed? Here. Commissioner Traeger? Here. Mayor Derek L. Henry? Here. Uh, at this time, we will have our invocation led by Commissioner Traeger, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance led by Commissioner Delgado. Dear Lord, thank you for the beautiful day we have. Please remember all those who are affected by the flood. While we are here, give us the wisdom and the understanding to do the business of the city and the residents. Give us patience. Give us wisdom. Let us listen to them and do the best that we can. Bless our first responders, our police, and our firemen, and all those that we rely on. Thank you so much, and lead us in the correct way. Amen. 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 to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll now move on to item number four, approval of the minutes of the September 5th, 2018 business meeting of the Community Redevelopment Agency. So moved. We have a motion uh, from Commissioner Traeger and a second from Commissioner uh, Gilliland. Do we have questions or corrections to the minutes? Now, hearing none, all those in favor, let it be noted by saying aye. 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 Those in opposition, same sign. The motion carries 7-0. Uh, uh, we'll now move on to item number five is our agenda approval. If there are any changes, our city manager will address them at this time. No changes, Mr. Mayor. Second. second. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Do you have any discussion? Okay, all in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carries 7-0. Okay, now move on to item number six, our administrative items. Item number six, a, the budget office, fiscal year 2018-19 budget adoption for the Community Redevelopment Agency. Our first section is section one, is a public hearing. Members of the general public may speak and ask questions on the fiscal year 2018-19 budget of the Community Redevelopment Agency. I have one speaker, Mr. John, John Nicholson. Nicholson. Come on up, John. This is a surprise. John Nicholson, 413 North Granby Avenue. I've been following the budget or what we're allowed to know of the budget of the CRA since 1985. Uh, the first budget was one number. And that was it. That was all we were told. This one is a little bit harder to follow. Um, it took several requests, but I, I have some questions. Uh, we've lost 50% of the staff of the CRA department. Uh, we've lost two of the three uh, project managers. All right. Uh, there were a total of five other staff members uh, that were fired. We don't know why. Uh, the figure is misleading. You see $6 million. You think we have almost $7 million in the Main Street CRA. 
that figure comes before we sold uh, $2.6 million in property. So technically, the budget or the uh, TIF funds and whatnot in the CRA only went up $20,000. It looks like a lot, but 20000 is minimal. So that's a deceiving number. Um, there is also five staff members that vanished off the budget from this year. Uh, the E-Zone manager is no longer there. Uh, there are three members of the uh, uh, landscaping staff is no longer there. Uh, the finance, the legal, all of which vanished. So I'm not quite sure what the adjustments are doing. It's a, a big loss to the CRA. There are things go happening, and I think some of you, I think, Kelly, I told you last meeting, uh, there's a, a Marriott courtyard going right in the middle. Uh, the Russians are building a project there. There's a lot going on in that section. To do without a project manager now for 11, 12 years is a long time to avoid that. I was told by uh, someone from another city uh, that uh, Jim feels that the beach side, uh, there's nothing going on. There's nothing ever going to go on. There's no sense in spending any money on the beach side. The core of our value at this point is west of 95. So 95 in the area out there is where the, we should spend our money. I think we're short-sighted. The beach side, with a little tender loving care and to keep the money on the beach side so that we can do what we need to do, is where the money in the future will be. Thank you. That was my final speaker for the public hearing portion. Okay. Moving on to item number two, it's the resolution. The Budget Office Fiscal Year 2018-2019 Budget Adoption for the Community Redevelopment Agency Resolution. A resolution adopting the budget for the fiscal year October 1st, 2018 to September 30th, 2019 for the Community Redevelopment Agency, prescribing the net sources of revenue and the estimated amount of $8,969,581, setting forth operating expenditures, transfers, and capital expenditures in the amount of $8,969,581 and providing an effective date. I have a motion from Commissioner Gilliland and a second from Commissioner White. Do we have any questions or comments? Okay. All those in favor, let it be noted by saying aye. Aye. Those in opposition, same sign. Uh, this motion carries 7-0. Uh, um, okay. Do we have any comments or inquiries from the Commission or Redevelopment Agency? Okay. Hearing none, uh, then this... Our meeting is adjourned, and we will convene with our regularly scheduled commission meeting as quickly as possible.